Welcome to my channel Maths Pursuit. Today we will look into the questions from the chapter called Arithmetic Progression. Hello friends, may I request you to please click on the subscribe button below this video. The given question is find the 10th term from the end of the AP 8, 10, 12, 126. Guys, this is again a very simple and very easy question but the thing is that we need to understand how we can work out so that it can be easily done and guys this is one of the important questions because this type of question came in one of the CBSC board examination in the year 2006. So let us see how we are moving ahead and how we are solving this type of particular question. The question is asking us to find the 10th term from the end of the AP. Now guys let us focus our attention here and see how quickly and how easily we can solve this type of question. So the given AP, the given AP here is the given arithmetic progression here is or uh, what is being given is 8, 10, 12, 8, 10, 12 and then 190 uh, then, one, then uh, there is some uh, uh, numbers are there and then it is 126. This is what being given. Now guys, the question is asking us to find out the 10th term from the end that means we need to find out the 10th term from the end moving from the end we are not finding the 10th term moving from this way we are uh, moving from this way guys we need to move from this way and need to find out the 10th term so for this purpose what we can do we will just reverse this uh, we will just reverse this given arithmetic progression and we will do our calculation so that this calculation will be really super easy so if we reverse this calculation that means this arithmetic progression we will be having what we will be having we will be having 126 and then there will be some uh, numbers and then we will be having 12 10 8 so guys let's see so for that this purpose in order to make this calculation very easy and without uh, making any confusion I have again drawn a table here if you look here this this particular table if you look here what I did I just reverse this given arithmetic progression if I reverse this arithmetic progression, I have 8 is the last first term because initially the question has given us 8 as the first term. So I have considered 8 as our last first term. I have considered 10 as our last second term and I have considered 12 as our last third term. But as per our question, they have given 8, 10, 12. In our given question, it was first term, this was second term and this was third term. But when I reversed it, it became, I named it as last word first term. I named this one as last word second term. I named this one as last word third term. And we are more focused in finding out this 10th term, guys. Here the 10th term will fall. Because and this the last term that was 126, I made it as first term. Just I reversed it. Because the question asked us to find the 10th term from the end. So for that reason, I just reversed it. Now guys, let us use our important arithmetic equation formula, which is a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 into d now guys let us calculate the value of d here so d is the common difference common difference d can be calculated as how a l 1 minus a l 2 or even we can calculate a l 2 minus a l 3 so whatever we do we will get the same value or d is equal to a l 1 that is 8 and a l 2 is 10 so I can write or D is equal to I can say or D is equal to minus 2. So guys this is what we got the, for the value of D. Now what, what we have we have a, a n a n is equal to a 1 plus n minus 1 into D. So what are the things that we have now? If you look here a n we are going to find out the um, value for a 10 so here the value of n is 10 because we are going to calculate the 10th term so in, instead of a 1 a n I can write a n is equal to a 10 because we are going to calculate the value of a 10 and what else we have we have a 1 which is 126 that we have considered and d value is minus 2 that we got from the above now let us utilize these things in our arithmetic equation formula so we have a n so instead of a n, I can write a 10 is equal to a 1, which is 126 plus n minus 1 into d. Here n value is 10 minus 1 into d. 
d value is minus 2. And for a10, we don't know the value of a10. We are going to calculate the value of a10. Just we need to solve this equation. Or a10 is equal to 126 plus 9 into minus 2. Hope guys, still here, we are very clear. Or I can write a10 is equal to a10 is equal to 126 minus 18. So this is what I got. Or I can say finally a10 is equal to 126 minus 18 is 108. So guys, this is what we got the value of a10 and the question also wants us to find out the value of a10 from the end. Don't forget guys, this is from the end. So we can say that the value of a10, the value of a10 from the end of the from the end of the given arithmetic progression ap is 108 or 108 we can say hope guys you understood this calculation or this process this is very simple and very straightforward but still if you have any questions or doubts please reach out to me in the comment section of this video definitely i will get back to you once i see your comments Guys, if you really like my videos, please subscribe. If you really like my videos, I would request you to kindly subscribe and also let your friends know. This will motivate me to create similar videos in the future. Thank you. Bye.